it's time to build some marines and medevacs again as you can see i skipped a little bit ahead i'm already in the grandmaster i felt like the first couple of place matches were a little bit boring so i just skipped ahead um and here we are we are in the grandmaster still undefeated if you're interested in the vod's then or uh, the games that i've played until now um, I'll be linking the Twitch VODs in the description in which I, um, yeah, Not played them. Minerals. Like, I played them on stream, basically. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. So, we're still only making Marines and Medivacs. The only thing that I'm allowed to do besides that is going SCVs and also playing Reaper Fast Expand. Um, in this game, however, I'll not do that. I think. Mm, let me think. Should I go Reaper Fast Expand or not? Actually, I will go Reaper Fast Expand. Um, I'm also gonna SV Scout. I don't want to have my first loss because I get proxy Reapered. So I'm going to Scout and hope that I don't get proxied. Even if I Scout and do get proxied. I don't think I can hold it necessarily, so it's still going to be tough because uh, the response usually is to go factory, but maybe my opponent um, makes some mistakes. That's what I'm hoping for. So we do go for a scout just to see what's going on. And then from that point on, we're just going to play accordingly. We're going to go Reaper. Mainly for scouting, we have to go Reaper, just part of how the Terran opening works. We can't really skip that. Can't also skip making SVs. Oh, it is a proxy. I'm so happy that I scouted. Um. Command center upgrade complete. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit tougher to defend. Is he gonna go front or where is he going? I think he probably isn't gonna go front. Oh, he's going back. Okay, that's decent for us. I think uh, he's gonna go. I need to gamble now. I think he's gonna go here. This is gonna be my gamble. Is it just one barracks proxied? Because I'm not seeing anything. There's a depot. Uh, this is a bad start, man. This could be very difficult. Because nothing is happening. Are we just being like... Ah. I think he only went one barracks. This is a perfect build order for him. This is a proxy 111. I think I'm failing pretty hard. No? It's not. Our SCVs are under attack. Now I'm just getting confused by my opponent. I do not know what I should be doing against this because he's not committing at all and I'm over defending basically I'm like putting way too much resources into defending I'm so desperate that I'm going into a 4x and I'm losing this guy as well you can't ah uh, this is so over <laughs> this is so over this is so good for him, he just can jump into my main and I die now. Yeah, he's gonna realize that there's nothing inside. No, he doesn't. Ah, no, 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 no. Not good, not good at all. He can also just jump up here. I'm not sure why he's not doing that. He could have easily gone here. Um, yeah. He's making some questionable decisions, I wanna say. This could have already been a much smoother game for him. Obviously, the longer this goes for, the more I feel like we have a chance to actually come out ahead. Um, especially if I like get a bunker up in the low ground. But I, I should never be able to get that because he has Hellions now, I lost my Reaper. I should have probably done something else. I need him to go into my main base here, like uh, I can't... I can't take an expansion right now, like I need him to commit into my main base, go up that ramp, but he's not going to be doing that, is he? 
So it does look like I have to go down myself, but now that was the exact moment that he was paying attention. I'm making a missile turret, which is nice. But besides that, nothing in this game is nice. Absolutely nothing. Oh, he's really going hard on the Reapers. Medivac? Okay. Does he have like any grenades left? Seems like he still has enough. This is a very weird build by my opponent. Not gonna lie. Not enough minerals. Doesn't feel like I can beat it though. Because Reapers are fast, like if I the moment I stim, they just run away. And like the moment I like go into my main I lose too many units. These Hellions are a mules rather are expensive to lose as well. Definitely want to wait for plus not one and Medivex. Otherwise, we're not going to be happy. Oh. Don't really want to get out micro Reapers, they ha have like a smaller range. Okay, we need to like to land the CC here for a little bit of a like distraction basically. Like uh, the Reapers are shooting this as well, basically. So they're splitting up their shots, which is kind of what we need. They have plus one, so like my Marines so sort of trade well, but man, the grenades are really hurting. And like he has an expansion going in the background, right? There's no way he doesn't, so... It's not like we're gaining any ground here at the same time. But this is uh, like fine because we're like holding on, we're not dead yet, we're just holding on just fine and it seems like he's still making the Reapers so I'm kind of okay with it, especially if I can like trade, man <laughs> this is so nice, no I'm not gonna win this trade, yeah, this, is, this seems to be game over more and more. I should never commit. I should like heal with my Medivex properly. This guy is a very odd Terran player. Yeah, I should stop making SVs. We have enough. I can't like chase the grenades anymore. We have to like really out micro. Don't chase the grenades. Play smart. Oh, this is pure Reaper. This guy definitely knows it's like a challenge that I do, so he's trying to be funny. Honestly, this is not looking bad for us at all. Is he going into our main base again, or like what's going on here? It's starting to look not bad. I wish I could make an air unit. An air unit would be very nice now. Upgrade complete. Tank! That's getting really funny now. What? Okay, we're being trolled pretty hard. That's not very nice by my opponent. 
Okay, I think at this point the only chance we have is to send it on two bases, you know. So we're gonna saturate our bases really have like precisely and then we're just gonna send everything across the map. We're not gonna win this game anymore by like playing macro. Like he's on freaking five bases at this point. We need to go and send it towards his main base. There's no chance I have to win this game besides this. Okay, that's not gonna work either because he has like already too many <laughs> Reapers. Ah man, what a troll this guy is. Bigger troll than me. But he's like building siege tank, man. What are you doing? Like, this is not pure Reaper medevac. You're building siege tanks and you build Hellions. Like, I'm I'm being honorable and I'm not cheating. This guy is like cheating. This is not fair. If you are gonna troll me, I do feel like you wanna do it like properly. So like, don't cheat. If you are gonna go pure reaper, then stick to pure reaper. Don't be silly and like, oh, I'm gonna make some tanks. Especially if you still might lose the game, then that's really silly. I highly doubt he can lose his game though, considering everything. Like, look at that, I'm on three bases, he's like, taking that base, because why not? Let's just get rid of it. He's on 2 2 Varys. Why is he unseating though? I don't understand the unseat, really. Two one, no, 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 no. Loser, come on, you loser, you loser. He's a barcode as well. Ha! <laughs> What a dirty abuser this guy was. I, I'm pretty sure he knew that I was the marine medevac guy. My disguise here is not good enough, I suppose. Oh, that ga game gave me a heart attack. I wasn't even able to commentate through this one. Let's just search for another one, I guess. I need to really uh, do something else against the proxy reaper, though. My response is not very good. Uh, luckily we didn't get the same guy. To be honest, uh, maybe you can leave it in the comments, like... I should implement the new rule that whenever I play against a barcode... Like, barcodes are always either BM or they abuse or... They're just annoying, right? That I should just, um... Like... You know, I, I just... Like... Play normal and crush them. I, at least I try to. Just so that we like, cause like if I if I had lost that game, it does feel like it's a little bit of a, a victory for the barcodes, you know. I should punish barcodes on the ladder. Anyways, we don't won that game, so I don't care. If I'm the winner, then I'm right. To be honest, like uh, I I did learn how to defend the proxy reaper a little bit more in that game. Um, maybe in some of my next games I'll show you my defense that I come up with here, or, I mean, that I want to try at least. It felt like in the last game we made some very big mistakes, like, actually insane, insanely big mistakes in that case. Um, in this game I'll be going for a Reaper expand again. I think I prefer going Reaper expand on maps with a 
with a um, no ramp. This map has no ramp in the natural. So I do prefer to go into um, just standard Reaper expand. Is he going to be blocking my command center or not? Doesn't seem like he is. There we go. Obviously, as a Protoss, you always want to block the CC with the probe. Not like he does, but if you do it right, it can be very annoying to deal with. This guy is an old German player. So I want to beat him because he's German. Always gonna assert dominance. So beating every single German player is what I should really aim for. Okay, we're scouting for proxies or the probe coming back. Wait, oh, okay. I thought I messed up and he somehow did me. No! I attacked the plate and not the probe. My bad. Are okay, we going into three racks here? In my challenge to Reaper as a scouting tool, I rarely use it to kill stuff. Okay, it looks like he's gonna be one of those guys that has a stalker in front of us. So I'm just gonna uh, make a bunker. Like for example, if he moves out of stalkers, that's like one of the exceptions that I have in my rules. If he like moves out of like stalkers and everything and has nothing at home, and I have to reap on the other side, I will use it to kill stuff. Because, uh, yeah, Reapers are really part of the Terran opening. If you want to know why, um, I'm currently producing videos, the Ultimate Terran Guide. I'll be trying to like get like tutorials, probably like eight videos in total, where I just, um, where I just like kind of uh, collect all my knowledge that I have accumulated, and I just put it in like eight videos or so. The first video I uploaded yesterday. It's for complete beginners, but we're gonna like make our way up, you know. We're gonna start off with complete beginners, but eventually we're also gonna have like uh, pro gamers. So like, um, if you like Master League or GM, there's also gonna be content for you guys, like like very advanced guides or whatever that sort of thing. So yeah, just uh, wait and enjoy. If you do want to learn StarCraft, there's stuff that is coming up. I enjoy producing those. Oh, Not we're getting enough. blink proxy. Okay. Is this another guy that knows about my my silly uh, strategy here? Is he just gonna go mass blink stalker proxy? Come on. What has Leda become? Uh, became man. Uh, this is getting silly. Really silly. We need to get that bunker up, honestly. Uh, I also need to get like a factory and an eBay up. The factory goes without stop attack. We can't really outrange him, can we? But yeah, this guy's just making mass blink stalkers on uh, two bases. Let's see if we can deny some mining time here. Ah, oh, we killed the probe. Gotta make sure we don't die at home. Yeah, it is like a very committed uh, blink play. We have plus one on the way. We have a factory here, so we can make our way to starports. One thing that is really important to keep in mind here is the fact that my opponent does not have access to uh, my main base, it looks like. Unless he's going into a sentry now, which he very well might. Like, he might go for a sentry. But, like, I didn't see a robo, so I'm not really too concerned. I'm just gonna leave some marines on top of my ramp, though, just in case. And I'll make like a random missile turret because he's not doing anything, so. Seems like it could be DTs as well at this point because nothing is happening. Gonna send out an SCV for scouting. Um, yeah, I'm really confused about this to be honest with you. It does feel like I want to move out myself now, maybe? Like, what happens if I just move across the map? I'm just gonna ignore the, the thing there as well. Okay, he's transitioning as you can see. Yeah, there's a thing going up. Like, my marines can just waddle across the map just fine. I mean, I take that. 
that's amazing for us if we can just literally like make ourselves across the map without him like poking at us usually the annoying part is that the protoss has like infinite range advantage so they can always poke at your marines while your marines like do no damage let's see what he has he literally has nothing we can snipe the robo we can blink forward because he's whopping in like zealots zealots aren't gonna do anything we're trading extremely well here even if it's like on top of sentries as well with guardian shields he blinked back so i'm just gonna run away from him like uh, i'm gonna deep dive into his base do some whole position micro to really have as much dps as possible hold position so we target the probes automatically and then we can step to step forward killing the units and it doesn't seem like he can hold off the marine push so he did not know what i was doing i guarantee you that he had no idea that we are making marines that's perfect we get ourselves a huge advantage in this game and this game over <clears throat> I basically did the caster thing there when I say like, oh, what a huge advantage. And then like insta GG afterwards. Obviously, kind of had a feeling the game was over. He literally had three zealots and a stalker left. Yeah, this game went pretty much perfect. This was like, couldn't have gone any better. He did not commit to the blink all in. He actually made a transition, but like he still committed hard. Like obviously this is still a huge commitment. Like as you can see in the work account, this is looking really good for us, like the work on is even, we're mining more than him. And in this case, we're making better units, because marines are better than stalkers. It's going to be also in one of my next videos, I'll, in my next testing video, I'll be testing the marine. Uh, last video I tested the cyclone, but next video I'll be testing the marine and giving it a rating. I do feel like the marine is going to be the unit that's going to have like at least 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Obviously the marine is like the best unit in the game. Um, overall, it obviously has clear weaknesses, but that's how it should be. So, like, I'm sure the Marine is going to have, like, a high score. And in this case, it doesn't have any weakness because he's building Stalkers and Zealots without upgrades. And those just don't perform very well against the Stalker. But that is for another video. Um, we're going to go out of the game to just see our progress. So now we are 37 and 0. We can put that in the stats. Once again, if you do want to see my games uh, that I played up to this point, I have the VODs linked in the description. They lead you to my um, Twitch VODs. So uh, just go ahead and check those out if you want to see how I got here. But yeah, basically I played those games off stream because I feel like the fun begins more at like GM level. Yeah, current MMR 5.5 and we're 37 to 0. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I feel like the first one was kind of exciting. Um, and I hope to see you again in the next one, uh, which is going to be tomorrow at the same time. So bye-bye.